Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh from learnautomation.com Today in this video tutorial we'll focus on how to verify the broker links in Selenium WebDriver This is one of the most important verification that we do in our general application and this is one of the most important interview question as well like how you will verify the broker link broken images and how you will verify the status as well so let's get started and let's go to the high level agenda for this so today we'll discuss what is broker link what is your http url connection class and how we will do this so we'll see the approach and finally i have a quick assignment for you all so i have an example for you what is broker link so if you uh, if you can see this i have written some random url learn hyphen some dummy.com and you can see it's not navigating to a proper website because the url is incorrect right so this site is not reachable so this is called invalid scenario not invalid scenario you can say like uh, 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 our application is not behaving correctly this is forcefully i have done this but in your application you, you need to verify your proper links are working fine or not sometimes you will get page not found error sometimes you will get connection timeout so on right in the same way we will do this i don't have any uh, example for broker links as of now this is one which you can forcefully create so what we will do we'll take the help of one class called http url connection this is a class in java which will set a connection between a server so whenever you click on a link what exactly happens it will send a request to the server and server will return the response right so we need to capture the response and we need to verify the same okay so we need to use one uh, code for this so we'll discuss as of now let me show you the agenda like what exactly we are trying to do so you can see in this google home page we have certain links like advertisement business about privacy term setting and all these languages plus this gmail images and if you expand this we have certain icons and each icons will start a new application you can see it's again a new url right so we'll take this example on google.co.in i need to verify all these links are working fine or not so this is the code and you can find the same code on my blog i will give you the link in the description so if you go to my blog that learn automation.com so this is the post best way to find broker links using selenium web driver so whatever code i am going to show you right now all uh, full code is available here but before moving to the actual code let's discuss each and every method so i started a firefox driver I will maximize and I will pass the google.co.in. Then I need to find out all the links on this page. So I have one method called tag name. So what it does, it will check the anchor tag on this page and it will return me list of web elements. So I'm using find elements. Okay, the important thing here, we have two things: find element and find elements. So if you see, find elements will accept on by parameter and whatever parameter you will pass it will return you list of web elements so i have passed anchor tag so it will get all the list okay in a form of uh, web element then what we will do we'll say link dot size i need to verify how many links we have so using this links if i say dot size it will return me the total count of the link so if you see the size method what this method does it will simply return the number of elements inside the list simply i will print now what i need to do the first approach uh, i will go to individual link i will verify the status and so on but let's do it in a you can say efficient way i will run a for loop that will start with zero and that will go till the number of links we have so let's say if we have 50 link it will start with zero and it will go till 49 so We'll start with zero and we'll go till the number of links we have and each time it will increment. Since links is a list, so I will say dot get i. Since every time it will iterate, I will get a new value. And 
since we have list of web elements each time it will return me web element now this is the important thing this is like uh, like not like a tough scenario the main thing which we need to focus here is get attribute so let me show you one of the link if I navigate to google.co.in or google.com if I simply right click and say inspect okay you can see every link having one attribute called href right so what exactly I'm trying to do I will copy this href so get attribute href I will get the href of that particular anchor link then just hold on I will tell you what is this method now let's create a method this method will validate the response so the name of this method which I have written is verify link active and I will simply pass the URL of that particular uh, link I, which I need to verify now just some special commands methods classes you need to remember so the first step you need to create object of this URL class okay, if you put mouse over here it is coming from java.net library so we'll pass this URL in the constructor you need to pass the URL whatever URL you will pass here it will accept then second step you need to create a connection so using this URL object we are creating a connection so open connection is a method okay which will create a connection and it will return you the object of HTTP URL connection class so we'll store an object then I need to set a timeout what is this timeout now if you put mouse over here it will sh uh, show you set a specified timeout in the millisecond this is like optional but I will highly recommend use this what exactly it does it will allow you to wait minimum three seconds because sometimes it takes time to uh, send the request and get the response right so the connection timeout which we have set is 3000 millisecond which is equal to three seconds so within three seconds if you are not getting the response it will throw you a timeout exception and you can see here yeah timeout then finally let's connect so using this http url connect object i will connect and get response code is the method so it, it will simply get the response and you can see they have given very good documentation 200 it means ok and any other code which is not equal to 200 will be um, unexpected so we'll check if it's, it is equal to 200 so I will print the URL and will print the message in case response code is not equal to 200 so it will go to this uh, if a statement and if response code is equal to 404 you can see 404 means page not found then it will print the URL and it will print the message as well so this method will simply check all this if you see only four lines of code create a uni uh, URL object then using this overall URL object create a connection once connection is established simply set the timeout connect get the response if equal to 200 then do this or else do this so this is the method which I created for usability every time whatever URL I will get from the code I will directly pass here okay so let's say I'm getting one link I will pass the link then this code will work so let's run this code then uh, I will show you how you can utilize this code so simply right click run as, as Java application so if you do this thing manually like uh, let's say you need to verify this scenario almost three times in a day and almost daily if you do not write this test case and if you have to do this manually it will take minimum for this test case it will take one hour so better to write a code and run it daily basis so you can see it total links are 49 and now it is printing the URL which is coming and ok is the response message which is coming so it's pinging like almost everything so this is for Gmail, Drive, Google Hangout, YouTube 
and we are getting success message okay it's advanced search preferences services and congratulation total links are 49 and it has verified all the links and you can see the status message is okay it means all links are working as expected because Google have this uh, like 24 by 7 up and running services right so you will not find any broker link but in your application you will find number of broker links so if you want to verify the broker links in your application just copy paste this code and run it so this code you will get from my blog so just copy paste this code just click here this pop-up will appear just copy paste this code and run it okay so this is what uh, ex uh, uh, what we were trying to do so if you see right now we are using this get take a right in the same way if you want to verify the images you need to pass another tag and you need to do a small change so in the next video I will show you how to verify the broken images as well so just try this code and let me know if you find any difficulty so the assignment for you is right now I do not have any assertion like if code is not equal to 200 my test case should fail so you need to add this validation in this method if equal to 200 then pass otherwise fail my test so recently I posted one video how to verify uh, certain uh, like error messages titles you need to verify this if this is not met it should fail your my test case let's try if you are not able to perform this let me know I will uh, show you in the next video let's see what we have done yeah we have covered everything so try this from your end and the only precondition for this you should have selenium installed in your machine that's all so if you have any doubt just send me an email and uh, if you like this video please share with your friends subscribe to my channel and comment below for any feedback thank you so much